How's it going everyone? Welcome back to more of our Assassin's Creed Valhalla series. Um, right, so we have uh, in fact returned um, the brothers back, basically. Um, and now I think we just pretty much have got to just conquer the rest of the places and then probably be at the end of the game. So let's get it done. Let's go. <laughs> Need to head it up into uh, the town. Stan has made this ruin his longhouse. Right, let's see best then. Why is my cup empty? Perhaps because you have drunk, Lord. Ah, a heroic looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Beerston, the elderman of the Shire. Our Lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs. In her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Perhaps because you have drunk the hmm. In her usual manner, that doesn't sound good. There's a blooming out of the stairs. better than he deserves. Oh, okay. okay. We found the stairs. Oh. Over there. There's the other side. Right. Husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my Lord is not at home. Hmm. I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck, he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints were tired of waiting for Beer Stan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land. With or right, let's go it. find the camp. What way are we heading? Down that way. I wonder how far we are to the end of this now.
It's been such a long running series. Obviously not as long as the Witcher series, but... Witcher was something special. I mean, don't get me wrong, very much enjoying this game. Witcher just hits different, you know? Like, it was my favourite game of all time. I think I've said that on the channel before. That person dead. Oh no, they're sleeping. Right, let's go. Burston's camp. Just up here. Wait, no, I think it's quite far away actually, to be fair. Oh no, was there? What do you see, Sunil? Ah, there. You can see the top of a tent. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. They were caught off guard as they supped. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged hmm. by a large animal. A bear. This has bear written all over it. They were attacked by a beast. <clears throat> Something strong enough to kill a horse. Yeah. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. That's bad. Prey. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Biestan still lives. Show me. Ah. There was something on the ground. Yeah, there, right in that middle bit there. Ready your weapon or accept oh, your as a feast for bears. But it warned me. You killed yours, dude? Ha, no. no weapon strikes true. Ah. Shall we? You have savaged enough men today, beast. Gets the blood course. Got it. You're welcome, Bastion. I would not have survived this ambush without you. Nope, you wouldn't have. my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril perhaps you were god sent i'm estrid sent your wife and the thanes of essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil when do they not you could return and report that the savage claw took me poor beast oh he doesn't want to be any part of it anymore pursued by a bear and make the beast lord of essex in your stead no doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. You lost many men on this hunt. Okay. 
Bang my horse, bro. Good man. Good man. Oh. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting? There's pain enough in battle, but enough to seek it out in love. I long for it, the thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping her thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love. And a piss poor ruler to boot. They seem strong must be the hand that steers the ship, is then. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well crafted bow. Why make my, my hood on? This guy's the lord, prey. like. I'm pretty sure if someone comes at me, he'll be like, back off. Wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You must there we go. if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hobbles of Wattle and Daub, I have ambition to build a great palace myself with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. Each to their own, in my opinion. The wolves at my door before we discuss your favor to Essex, Abel. But maybe I can speed your business along. to help me fend off the spears of their displeasure let them speak their woes i'll advise you if i can who is this owl beerston that twitters in your ear an advisor nothing more here to help essex navigate her brewing storms now my dear brethren adrid perhaps you will start us off what troubles you? You're a disgrace, Beerstan. Couldn't Oof. get a sow past an ale Straight house. in. Alfred's men are crawling all over Essex. King Alfred, yes. Though it is within his right, the constant presence of his men is certainly an issue. Alfred will get bored soon enough. He has bigger pikes to bake than are to be found in this stolid backwater. Alfred's forces are only here because of Estrid's failed kidnap. Now that she is safe, they will soon be gone. And you, Wyatt, what do you say? Your preparations for the Lammas Festival. How can you think of spending so much coin when your people are starving? Hmm. Drink, be merry, eat your fill, sing of great battles, for tomorrow we may die. There's no problem that mead and song can't solve. Do we not deserve such mirth? A great feast and happiness? The dark days of winter approach. Let us drink them away. And Aldrich, do you yap like a she-hound as Adrid does? You know my thoughts, Beerston. The feared. How can we give men to Alfred for his wars when our harvest suffers day by day? Do they not defend your land? You'll need all the men you can muster to fight the coming wars. The Danes are a great threat when provoked. Those we cannot ally with, we must fight or lose our lands. There! Have I not answered all your questions? You are a stain on this shire, Beerstan. Useless. Useless. That's right. Yet still you haunt my hall. Be gone. I haven't time for your squabbling. 
You're certainly a better hunter than you are a diplomat, Eivor. I spend my effort where it matters most. All this talk of hunting makes me long for the woods. Your wife awaits, Birsten. Aren't you worried some other man will drench your sheets with his sweat? Ha! <laughs> she does as she must. As do I. But you will discover this soon enough. to his coop. My pettish love. Such a stormy countenance clouds the sun of my return. Your thanes drank the ale the abbot gifted us. All of it. Now that is a tragedy my heart will not easily overcome. If he looked at me with the same affection he shows for hunting deer, our marriage might have survived. So, what do you need of me? Our affairs are more of heart than of state, Eivor. What little passion there was between us faded into bickering long ago. We would have our freedom, Eivor. I from my wife, and my wife from Essex. I'm too sharp a weapon for so soft a task. Why not part and be done with it? Oh, were I a Dane, and divorce as simple as a slit throat. But it's not so easy as that. Hmm. Explain yourselves, clear and plain, and I will do it. The poetry here is mind mud. We had a plan, a simple plan. A woman lost and a woman found. Some time ago, we paid a Dane to kidnap me and ferry me safely to Francia. As you can see, he did not deliver. He was certainly thorough in other regards. Some Norse can be quick to take coin and slow to earn it. If I give my word, it is not broken. Could we try the kidnap again? Much of the planning is done. It would only take a more trustworthy overseer. It should be a bold venture if we do. Loud and brash and seen by all. During our Lamas festival, merry peasants and guards with wandering eyes. Your return to Francia would need a swift ship, with a captain ready to leave England. We could ask him. I would have thought his steed and seamen spent. Come find me in the market, Eivor. Our unwelcome guests require food and ale to soften their anger. My wife is a gracious and attentive host, Eivor. The only thing that keeps my brain thanes at bay. And the woman found? A darling Maybud, Alvid, my childhood sweetheart. I left her 20 years ago in Malden to marry my prickled pear. 20 years? Can an ember so cold be reignited? We can hope. You must fan the flame. Find her, bring her to my lakeside cottage, and light a bonfire there. I will know to come. I believe she lived in the last house in Malden. A small, sweet place where fond memories were made. I will do as you both ask, and ask Freya for success in this love game. Good luck in your endeavors, Eivor. I pray you find my Alvida with a fair face and a yearning heart. Now, should I look for Alvida first? I'll meet with Estrid at the marketplace. Hmm. We'll do that one first. Go back to No, 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 no. Of course, we're not with him, so now they're gonna attack us. God damn it. Ow. Get out of there. Excuse me. There you are, Abel. Over here. Give me one second. This place okay. would have been impressive once, a long time ago. Bro, 
try it. I came first to help you. Your need seemed more pressing. And now my marriage awaits your executioner's sword. Will it not be strange to leave this place? You've lived here half your life. Yes, but what is to keep me here? A loveless union and the dirt mounds of two babes who never took a breath. Have you always missed Frankia? I have. Or rather, I miss the woman I was when I lived there. Somewhat freer and more hopeful. And what of our plan, the great Lama's kidnap? Is this a Christian feast? Yes, it's a wonderful evening. A blessing of the harvest, full of fruits and fires, drinking and dancing. Revelers with muddy minds and glazed eyes. That's good for us. And what of the ship that will sail you home? I know just the one, and her captain is full of fire. Come, I will take you to him. This captain, hey. who is he? Not much more than a boy in his 17th year, full of youthful bravado. A Saxon? A Dane. Though Adred calls you raiders, he says that you are here to steal England. Some may be. But I've come to settle a stretch of land. I'm not so keen to return to the winters of my birth in Norway. Norway? Ah, it must be beautiful. Rugged and fearsome, and cold as anything, the frozen north. So cold that light hangs in the sky. A road for the Valkyries who carry our dead warriors to their eternal feast. An eternal feast would be a merry end. Ah! Oh. He isn't there's that guy there. Just probably looking at him. Nope. We are here. This is a brothel. The captain's name is Rolfer, called Rollo in my tongue. Tell him of our new plan and agree to whatever reward he demands. He may take some convincing, for we did not part on the best of terms. I'll bring him round. I force the persuasion. Just be ready for my signal at the Lammas Festival. Okay. That was a brothel. Oh, no. Please, I'm just a poor Christian brother with nothing left to give. Damn. <laughs> Someone's at the door, Rollo. Oh, is it that hun I asked for? <laughs> Estra sent me. Did she now? As a parting gift for the man who rattled her bones, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here to collect you. Can it wait? Oi! Bring out the one they call Rollo. The king's men want to ask him a few questions. No, 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 no. Just a second. Good day, sir. Come in. Move! Move! Some help here! Bloody fucking oh. Danes! Open this door! Out! Now! Follow me! Oh, your crap. Your your no one's you now. Hold on. Okay. Come quietly or die like beards. Oh. Come on. He's dead. What's that? 
Estrid did not lie. You have fire. And who are you to Estrid? Only a friend. I'm Avon of the Raven Clan. Norse by the music of your speech. Then you must forgive me. Those Saxons knew about my camp. I was mind drunk to leave my warriors behind. Go to your men if you must. Only tell me where to find you. We have much to talk about. Northeast of here, by the river's mouth. Follow me or come when you can. Going Rollo at his camp. Damn, your camp is far, bro. Fast, fast travel point either. Because you have to run over that way. Speak to him. No. What is this? Why am I Oh shit, they were killed? It's worse than I feared. So many of my people gone. And the rest at each other's throats. They believe one of your number is a traitor. Lork and Gerhild have been at my side all season. I don't like to doubt them, but my people are taken and my ship is gone. If the traitor lives, all of you are at risk. Let me talk to them. The innocent have nothing to hide. Very well. But do not let Loki whisper lies in your ear. While you were drinking and whoring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister. And Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. Oh. Gerhild Question these. I... Rolo's sworn sword sister. I've served him proud and true. You cannot think I betrayed him. You weren't here when the Saxons attacked. I was hunting. There's fine game in the trees outside the camp, and our people need meat. What was your prey? Rabbits for stew. Rolo's favorite. Hmm. Who are you to Rolo? I am shield sworn, so long as England and that Frankish witch do not sway him from the true path, our people deserve better. I hear envy, but of Estrid or Rollo, I cannot tell. You know nothing, Ravenbeak. My concern is for my fellow Danes. You'll find no treachery here. That's all for now. I should speak to both and see if I can find some evidence around the camp. Evidence around the camp. Nordic, yes? 
What is your story? You want to hear my story? Then bring me a mug of ale, and we'll sit and talk as equals. Elsewise, you can hand. Damn. Where were you when the Saxons came? Hunting rabbits, wasn't I? Sick to death of carrots and turnips. Then I heard Geralt shouting, and all hell broke loose. Hmm. Did you see anything at all? Geralt talking with a Saxon. Couldn't hear them, but wasn't nothing good. Sure of that much. Why should I believe you? You could be lying to save your own skin. Ask her. Says she's loyal to Rollo, but I've known her since she was a babe. Full of spite and ambition, always was. How long has your sword served Rollo? I owe his father a blood oath. Ooh, blood oath. That means Biggie. wiping Rollo's arse until I die. So be it. And if Rollo was dead, that oath would be fulfilled. He was tired of battle. I'll feast in Odin's hall one day, but not with the stain of dishonor on my hands. Okay. I have You're what looking I need for likely. Now. I might find some evidence to test their stories. Drinking and pouring, Rollo, the Saxons attacked us. And these two were nowhere to be found. Neither betrayed us, Ake. Gerhild is my sworn shield sister, and Lork served my father well. Seems like the Saxons didn't get all of Rollo's clan. No need to hunt, and the camp is full of fresh kills. Hmm. This looks like hey, a good spot to hide. Somewhere to wait out a Saxon attack. Okay. Have you made your decision? Yeah. Gerhild claimed to be hunting as Lord did. Rabbit. She rarely hunts. She's been a terrible shot since we were children. Hmm. Your shield sister is jealous. She thinks you neglect your people by sleeping with the enemy. She always had ambition. But she accepted my leadership. Swore on her shield. Zordik said he was hunting, but your rags are full of fresh rabbits. Why would he lie? Unless he had something to hide. He tires of his blood oath, and with your death, he would be free. He has become old and frail, but he served my father well. I would have freed him without bloodshed. Have okay. you come to a firm conclusion? He's I have. Let me hear it. Both choices will pain me. But let it be the truth. Gerhild betrayed you. No! That's not true! Rolo, I beg you! A shameful death on bloody Saxon soil. Both had reason to betray their Jarl, but only one had the eyes on to do so. I hope you chose well, for you denied them a seat in my home. There can be no feast in Valhalla for a break faith. She was always a jealous crow, beat pricking over every decision I made. Nothing more can be done here, but your warriors might still be alive, and I will need your help after they're free. There's a Saxon camp with a dock at Port Walton. It might be they were taken there. Always knew there was something wrong about her. Spare me your sullen words. My heart is torn. Go, find something useful to do. Right, I find and rescue the Danes. South of Colchester. As you How far is this? Oh, not too far. Shall we? I'm sorry that your people suffer, Rono. Thank you, Eivor. I have much to think on as we journey. I'll leave you to those thoughts. <laughs> All right, let's go. Is that a camp there, I think? It looks like it probably is.
Oh, we can get in this way. They will attack on side here. Very far, so good. Is anyone in the tower? No. Shit. Right, they're over there. Wait, we need the key. Like plump ends. Okay, on to you. Whoa. Come on. There you go. Let's keep the raven on your side. Eradicate the camp. Does they mean eradicate? Kill everyone? There we go. Spread out. We have this. Got him. Oh no, still three more.
Yeah, we got a guy up in there. Is he gonna come down? And then there was one. terms of the kidnap. Feed the dog! Make the ship ready to sail! Oh. Discuss. Your axe arm is strong, Rolo. Never doubt me, raven feeder. These Saxon king slaves did. You showed great loyalty to your kinfolk. Stay true to that, and your name and deeds shall spread far. Good advice. Such is my fiercest desire. If it's renown you want, then aid me now. I have a task that will set your name ringing through the long halls. Oh, tell me. I need someone with a swift wave steed in good repair to bring the Lady Estrid across the sea to Frankia. Another kidnap scheme. Estrid is unshakable. All right, then. Let we two triumph where one failed. I need you stout-hearted in this. Whatever your passions for Estrid. We had our time together. Now that's done. I will not fail you here. Nor her. Oh. We will meet with your men inside Colchester on the night of the Lammas Festival. Right, that's that one done. That was a long one, man. Jeez. We still gotta do her one. Oh, wait, maybe not. We gotta go down there. In fact, though, we will leave things here for now, guys. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Most importantly, get yourselves a beautiful day, and bye-bye.